Hello guys, welcome to Dr. Crafting Lab. Trust you are able to learn one or two things in my previous lesson. I really appreciate you all. In this lesson will be discussing pivot table. What is pivot table? Pivot table is one of the powerful tools in Excel that helps you to summarize a very bulky data into a what simplified form or a presentable form. Now I will take it again. Pivot table is one of the powerful tools in Excel that helps you to summarize a bulk data into a simplified form or a what or a presentable form now you get to understand better with the aid of example if you look at the data set i have here now i have names department region branch higher dates and sales now for instance now this and these are the names of a sales representative these are their departments and this is their region they are actually from these are the branch and also their higher dates and the sales they actually made. Now we'll be creating a what a pivot table to work on this what on this data set now. Now let's start. Now let's just click bring our cursor on any of it here. Now to bring out our pivot table now, click on insert. When you click on insert, click on the pivot table. It's asking us now select a data, select sorry, select a table or range. Now this is the table now you can see now it actually covers the old data set we have here. Now our old, the old data is being highlighted like I said. Now because we actually click on one of the what one of the data here. Now including the headings we have here. Now it's asking us now is it do we want it on this existing sheet? If you want it on the uh, sorry, do you want it on this what new sheet? Now if you want it on a new sheet, a new sheet will actually pop up. But if you want it on this existing sheet now, you can just click on existing sheet now. Let's take it on this existing sheet. It's asking us location. Let me just drag. You can just place it anywhere around here you want it. For instance, now let me place it here. Now that's the location I want it. And click on OK. Can you see now? The pivot table has actually popped up. Can you see now? The pivot table field has actually popped up now. Can you see this is it now let me just drag it somewhere around here now hold on let me highlight it very well so that we can see it now this feed now let me increase it a bit here okay now this field now is actually give us room to actually work with it to summarize this data now if you look at this field now it asks for compartments. We have the filter, the column, the rows, and the values. Now I will explain them one after the other. For the filter, it's actually give room for us to take any value that we actually want to filter. That's for the filter. It's now why the column actually takes the values of the data you actually want to put in the what in the column parts. Why the row actually takes the values of what of the data you actually want to put in the row part but for the values it actually takes the what the numerical values most times the filters the column the row actually takes the value that has to do with text or the data that has to do with text but most especially for the values it actually takes data that has to do with what the numerical form now, if you look at what we actually have here, we have the names, the departments, the names, the department, region, higher date, sales, and so on. Now, the headings we actually have here, now, it will actually comes here. Now, let's summarize this data now with what we have here. Now, let me put, let's say, department, I put it in the what, in the row. Now just observe what we have here. Now the region, we have region, branch, higher dates, sales. Now let me put the region in the column. Now let me put okay the region in the column. Let's say this sales that has to do with numerical value let me put it in values now we still have name now you can put more than one one 
or you can put more than one in this compact form in one compact now let me put name in this row now let's see what we have now now it has actually summarized this data based on what we actually have here you can see the departments now we have the department look at the department finance department now those that actually falls under the finance department law department marketing department sales now let me scroll down a bit sales and their grand total just observe something now compared to what we actually have here before now it will be a kind of bit difficult to actually know those what the sales rep that actually work in what in different departments but we using the pivot table now it has actually bring it out in a neat format that what those that work under the word finance department now we've actually seen them now for the uh, law department we've actually seen them also the marketing department the sales department using the what using the pivot table now let me actually work with it now let me just bring out the field list back again now let me actually work with everything we have here we still have the branch here i can just filter the branch put it under filter now we we'll make use of what all the what the field we actually have here now if you look at it now i can just i don't need this field pivot table field again let me just cancel it now you've seen it now it's look i can if i want to what filter out now i can make use of the words of the branch now let me just come to this design now there are more to things to do now when i click on this design now i will just i will just come to this word report layout if i click on this report layout now this format we actually have here is the what is the what compact format now what i what i mean by that is that if you look at this place now we actually know as what on is not showing us what it's showing us the row label column label now we actually know that this are the what department that means you can see it now these are the departments we have now but if i use any of these other words that's why it's showing me row label and column label because we are making use of what compact form now it's not actually telling us that this is department that each this is the department for this this is the department for that now if i click on this design now if i click here now if i click on this in report layout if i decide to show it in what in tabular format can you see it now it's actually showing us that this is department now this department falls under which region east and all that this department falls under which region and all that now compared to when it was actually in what in compact form now compared now you can see it now it show it better when it's in what tabular form now another thing is what if i decide to put it in this outer form now outline form sorry now just observe something can you see now it's a little bit it actually removed those grid lines we actually have before just observe something you can see it now it's removed those grid lines we actually have here before compared to when i showed it in what outline form can you see it now well i would prefer to use the word the tabular form so I think the tabular form is what is better now another thing is that it's actually show us the what the grand total now you can see it now this is the what for for this department now this is just like it shows us what the soft total for the what for the whole department of what of finance this is what what happens what under the department of finance now uh, is what is seventy nine thousand error for what law department is what eighty two thousand and marketing department is what seventy nine thousand and for the region now now you can see it now for east under the law department this is it for east under the what finance department there's no any activities of what financial transaction there compared to what north south west and it's actually accumulate everything together and give us the what the soft total for the what department of finance same thing applicable to what law department and marketing department also we don't have any activities of financial transaction under the east department now but we have what 
for the what? North Department and the South Department, but nothing for the what? The West Department. Uh, sorry, for not, nothing for the what? West Region. Sorry. And another thing is, look at for the Sales Department also. Let me just scroll up a bit. For the Sales Department, you can see it now. And for the whole of the what? The for the whole of the region also the south the east the north and the west we also have their grand totals here and um, which give us the grand total for everything here now we are still under the design now let's click on this grand total now you click on this grand total now you can see now all four rows and column if i offer this rows and column now now let's click on it now you can see it now we don't longer have for the what for the we no longer have the what the subtotal for the what the grant and the finance department, the law department, the marketing department, and the what sales department. And the grant total we have here before we don't actually have it before because I've actually offered all this what the rows and the what and the column we have here. Now let's come back here now. Let's just play around it. If I own for what rows and column, own for rows and column now. If I click on it now, you can see it has actually returned the what. The soft total, which was the grand total for the what the Department of Finance now, it has actually returned it, which was not there when I actually off it for what rows and column. Now it has actually returned for the what the other departments also, Department of Law, Marketing, Sales, and all that, and also the what the grand total here for the what for the, each region, east, north, south, west, and all that. Now, same thing. Also, if I decide to what, let me click on it. On for only rows, you can see it now. That's actually what off for the what, the grand total which we actually have here on the what on the column. Now, if I decide to what, on for only columns too, you can see it now. So what we actually have here was what for the columns, and we don't actually have anything here again for the what for the rows. Those totals we had there before. Now let me just on for what rows and column back. Can you see it now? We actually return it back to the what original format. Now let's just check something out on the what on the subtotal. Now if I click on this subtotal now, if I decide not to what do not show for do not show the what the subtotal that which what we actually have here before. You can see now it has actually off for the what for the soft totals. Now if I click on it back, if I said show all soft totals at the bottom that which we actually have before, can you see it now? That have actually returned it back to the what to the original format. Now, if I decided to show all subtotals at the top, now can you see it now? Now, but the best way is you can just keep the words your subtotals at the what at the bottom. Now, let me just return it. Show all subtotals at the bottom of the group. Can you see it now? It has returned it back. Now, let me just scroll up. Now, one of the benefits of the what of the filter is that now you can see now we keep the branch on the filter. Now, if I decide that I will just want to check one of the activities, uh, I want to check the activities that happens probably in Kano or Lagos or Rivers. Now, I can decide to click on let's say Lagos now, and I will hit on OK. Can you see now? It have actually shows the what the activities that actually happens in what in Lagos. If you see a what. This four nail and shape here. Now it's, it's actually indicated that what a filter has been what applied. Now it's actually telling us that what the, the department that actually functions here was, in, in Lagos was. It actually indicated that what these are the department that actually functions in what in Lagos. Now the department of law and what and marketing department. Now if I decide to if I come back here. And click on let's say Kano now, and I hit on OK. You can see also now that's what is only what finance department and law department that actually functions well in what in Kano. Now, if I come back here and if I want to hit on what multiple options at a go, now I can decide to check for what Kano and Rivers and hit on OK. Can you see it now? For canals and river, you can see we have the law department, the finance department, marketing department, and the sales department. That's for what canal and river. Now, if I want to return it to the what to the previous format, now I can just hit on all and what 
and it's on OK. You can see it now. It has actually returned it to the what to the original form. Now let's click on this design. Now you can actually just this is a default format now. You can actually choose or change this design format now. Now let's come here, click on it. You can just check for any design we actually like. Now you can just if you can choose this, any design you feel like, you can choose any design of your choice. Probably if you want this, this, or this, or this, any design you actually want, you can just play around it and choose any design of your choice. You can see it. You can choose this, this, play around it, choose any design of your choice, and you can actually do that. Now, I can decide to choose, let's say this, and I'll just, now, or if I actually want to change it, I can just, I can still come back here, scroll down, probably this, or if it is this I want, or if it is this, or this, you can actually choose any design you feel like. Let me see this. Okay, no, I don't like this. Let me actually choose another design, probably this. I think this is cool. Uh, let me choose this. So that's one of the benefits of it. You can actually change it from the what, the default format to any design of your choice. Now another thing you can do with this pivot table is let me just bring back, let me bring back the pivot field back. Now let me just click on this pivot table analyze. Let me bring out this well, field list now, pivot table field. Now you can see it now. Look at this sum of sales now. If I click here now, you can see value field setting now. If I click on this now, you can see it now. You can actually determine the sum of sales, the count, the average, the max, the minimum, the products. You can do different things with this. You can see count numbers, products, standard deviation, variance, and so on and so forth. For instance, now this sum of sales now, you can you don't know whether it is maybe in naira or dollars or so so. You can actually, if you actually want to what, determine, uh, include the what, the currency form now. I've decided, uh, you can click on this what, number format now. When you click on this number format, now you come to currency, you can see it now. I've discussed this in one of my, in one of my lesson, probably lesson three or lesson four, where we discuss some basic functions or basic formulas in Excel or formulas on function share. Now that in when we are talking about currency is always in two decimal place. Now you can use any symbol of your choice. Decide to leave it in dollars or maybe naira or any currency of your choice. You can decide to leave it. Now, for instance, now let's leave it in these dollars and keep it in two decimal place and hit on OK. Can you see it now? After that, you hit on this OK again. Can you see it now? It look very more presentable now compared to what we actually have before. Now you can see it now. They are in what? They are in currency formats. Now look at this same um, button we have here. This button now, for instance, now if I want to what collapse it now, you can see it's just like I'm compressing it. Now if I click on this two, you, you can see we have minus in symbol here before it has actually changed to plus if i click on this collapse if i click on it now it has actually collapsed this what this law department also if i click on this click on this now you can see now these are the activities of what happens in what finance department in north we have fifty five thousand dollars in south twenty four thousand and no activities in west and this is the grand total for it now same thing applicable to what law department twenty seven thousand dollars no activities in north, south, and west. It doesn't indicate those that perform those activities here. Now, same thing applicable to what? Marketing department. We don't have act any activities in what? East, but we have in north, south, and no activities in west. This is the grand total for it. Now, same thing applicable to sales. A sales department too. We have in east, we don't have in north, we don't have in south, but we have actually have in what? In west. But we actually have the what the grand total. If I want to return it back to the board previous previous what previous form now, 
you can decide to bring it here also click on this now you can see you vote we actually remove the words the field and uh, uh, we actually remove that button now if you want to return it back now just click on it you can see now so uh, if it is the minus you want that means you should show actually uh, the breakdown of the word each department you can decide to click here you can see or click here so you can just play around it now you can see now i've returned it to the previous format showing those that carried out those activities in what in finance department and those the, the blessing damola glory jack Kunle, and somewhere in north and nothing in what in south west and east now same thing applicable here also if i decide to click on it back now you can see we have in east we don't have in what in north and south now same thing applicable here and what and here so that's that now if i decide to remove this word edits now i can just come to this word field headers you can see it now if i click on it now you can you can see now i don't i'm no longer seeing the word the headers anymore but it's not doesn't look professional i can just return it back can you see it now i think it's look more meaningful in this format so that's that i can try to close this word pivot table once i want to bring it back i'll just bring my cursor on any of it and click on this word pivot table analyze that's still that. on pivot table now in this second example our goal is to use pivot table to get further details now for instance now we want to use pivot table to get the activities of a particular sales rep. now using pivot table you will understand better with the aid of example. Now, let's try some practical aspect of it. Now, in this second example, what we are trying to do is we want to use pivot table to determine other details we can get from it and, and other things we can do with it. Now, let's just bring our cursor on any of it here. Now, click on insert, bring out your pivot table, click on it. Now, it's asking you, it has selected the old data range. We are still on. It has selected the old data range. Now, do you want it on a new sheet or existing sheet? Let's just use this existing sheet now. Once I click on it, now the location. Let me just play around it and put it somewhere here and click on OK. Now, you see now it has actually bring out the pivot table field now. Let me just drag it and bring it out here. Now, for the field now, for the filter let me just put for the filter now let me just click here let me just put the department in the filter now for the row let me put region here now observe what i'm doing now for the let me just for the for the column and for the value sorry for the value let me put sales here yeah. so that's some of sales now for the value again let me put or oh, better still let me remove this let me put let me bring out the name the name let me put it here so we have this now for the value let me put the value here Sorry for the sales. Let me put the for the value. Let me put the sum of sales here. Let me still bring it out again and put it here. Okay. So this is what we have. Now let me just click on it. Now I want to get some details for this sum of sales too. Now let I'll just click here. Now click on the value field setting. Now we have some count average, like I said earlier, max, minimum. Now let me click on this count. So I want to get the count of sales. Instead of just putting the count of sales too, I'll just remove these two. Now, and I'll now hit on OK. Just observe something now. Now I can just come back, click on design. Now come back here on report layout. Let me put it in show in tabular form. Now you can see it in the, it's in it now. It's now in a better format. Now let me bring a 
okay the sum of and the subtotal is already showing let me scroll down let me scroll down and the grand total is already showing okay let me just click here to this is the default format this is the default format let me just pick any design here okay seems i like the one i used earlier No, I think I'll be fine with this. Now, let me just add some background colors here. Let me click on it. Let me come here. Change it to, let's say, green. No, not all. Control Z to undo. Just this alone. This. Now, for, let me leave it around. I can leave this here like this. Now let me boot it. Okay, or better still, I can leave it white. Same thing for this. 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 Boot. You can just play around it and do anything of your choice. Okay, let me just do the same for this two tattoo. Good. I think just the waist alone. Let me just board it. Play around and change the background color, change the font color. Same thing for the grand total. This change the okay. Bold it can just change the background color and change this text color. Okay, I think we are fine. Now, if you look at, let me scroll up now. Okay, let me do for this south also this this now let me put it now if i scroll up now if you look at this this count of sales now it actually shows the word operation this what this sales representative actually carried out now for buy or not it show, it's indicated one israel one joshua joy michael and so on now if i scroll down now there's any there's none of them that actually carried more than one operation now now if i what if i click on this now if i double click on it now you can see now it actually carries out the what activities how the what operation was done now joy was in what sales department under which region east region now branch emo dates and it says it's actually what it's actually it actually she actually made sorry it says she actually made was what eight thousand now under what sales department from what from which region east region and what and the branch was what emo state and the date she actually carried out what the sales activity now if i go back now if i return to the what to the previous um, to my what pivot table back again if I actually click on maybe, for instance, now let's say glory. If I double click now, same thing also. It carries out what activities of what glory as a whole, the department, the region, the branch, the higher date, and the, the higher date and the sales. So that's how to make use of the what the count of sales. It doesn't make it doesn't mean you have a what a financial what transaction depending on the data structure you have. So that's how to make use of the word, the count in the word, in a pivot table. So that's how to what to get it. Trust you are able to learn one or two things in this lesson. I really appreciate you. See you in the next lesson. Bye for now.